This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. The 400pp Clubman Cup. This event, in which cars with around 400pp complete, is seen as the gateway to the big leagues for amateur racers. Pull all the lessons learned in the novice class to practice and fight for a spot on the podium. Well, with a new series comes a new car. I'm gonna go a bit of a weird route with this one. It's under the requirements, or under the suggested requirement. It's a tuner car, but not quite. We're going with the 2010 Spoon CRZ. Why? I don't know. It, it's there. It, it doesn't get used. Might as well use it, right? Yeah, exactly. Why not just use it? So in terms of the stream today, this is the last thing we're doing. Hey, Romain. This is the last thing we're doing for GT6. I did say that I wanted to do the Vettel Challenge in GT5 for fun. By the way, Silverstone National Circuit. I believe the opponent list is pretty much the same shit as the, the Freshman Cup. So, meh. There's not really any point of going to it. The hybrid backfire. Yes, the spoon spoon. Ooh, an RSX is leading. Nice. But yeah, we'll do the Vettel Challenge in GT5 afterwards just for fun. And yeah, because you guys really liked me doing that at midnight when we beat GT5. So I'll do that for like half an hour and then we'll just call it a day because it is super hot. And I need to study a bit. I did, I did need to do some studying, which is why I did an early stream. So interior. Pretty much the same, except the steering wheel is a spoon steering wheel. Or has the spoon logo. Uh, that's a possibility for the GT300 series. Um, I mean, what? I kind of spoiled that, but fuck it. Also, sorry, Renault 5. I completely smacked the fuck out of that Renault. Okay, like, I know this is the Spoon version, but it doesn't feel all that different. Should I go in for the late lunge? Oh, it worked. Okay, he backed off. <laughs> yes. Hello, other ender. Why does it look so heckin' dark? Because it's GT6. It's the interior. Because you can see the brightness goes up when um, I get out of the interior view. So let's catch the not Integra. Most of spoons work in suspension and chassis tuning. Oh, that's true. Oh, God. I tried to not hit him, but yeah, he was really slow. And according to iRacing, if the driver's slower than you, just uh, ram the back of him. Just crash into him. It's okay. I'm looking at you, Mr. 900. <laughs> Cowboy clone. <laughs> no, you won't. Pulls out the knife. You want food, but your ass is dead broke. I am with you on that one, bro. It's it's broke boy hours. Isn't even broke boy hours. It's broke boy life. Thanks, COVID. And thank you, school, for being so expensive. There we go. Race number one conquered. Can you ban someone for their bad puns? Hmm. Good question. I mean, I could take away some mod statuses if you need me to. <laughs> I see one person who shouldn't be a mod. 
the only person who's a mod that's in here. <laughs> Are you trying to ban Castro though? I mean, hmm. We could ban Castro, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I should have done this a long time ago. Anyways, Realm Circuit. What do we have? Ooh, an EP's in the front. Nice. You're gonna switch to mobile. Have fun with the 25 second delay. Thankfully, you're not watching Marvin's stream and him trying to do an actual challenge because no one can spoil it for you or trick you into thinking that um, he lost when in fact he won. Rome Circuit Light? Yeah. That sounds menacing. <laughs> oh fuck. Nearly hit the wall. Why did I break so early? And why did the Civic take us such a terrible line? Also, I just realized there's a GTO. That's uh, in second place. I think that's the SL motto. Also, if you couldn't tell, Chris, I gave you mod status. 7.2. Oh, welcome back, other Chris. I'm using tilt controls. Yeah, I probably, I probably gave the ban hammer to the wrong person. Now he's gonna start banning. Every At least you know, wait, you're not Reaper. Never mind. Never mind. You're not. You're not Reaper. Well, yes, Ender, because the fucking Civic took a terrible line and then all of a sudden pulled away because he messed my momentum up. It looks like a basketball court. Jack the Raper. One second timeout. Bullshit. He bans people and then unbans them. It's not really a timeout. I broke early because I was looking at the AI's breaking point and I was like, wait. No, don't follow the AI. This song's a sounds weird. I like it, but it's kind of strange. Oh boy, we're having a drag race, everybody. We banged doors. And he fell off. A nano machine, son. Thankfully, he's watching FD, so he can't tell us anything. <laughs> Not thankfully, but you know. <laughs> Dude. Okay, like, I don't mind the smell of weed at all. I don't like smoking weed. I like, actually, like, I like edibles, but... My neighbors buy, like, the shittiest weed, dude, and, like, it stinks so bad. He's still here. Yeah, but he's not in chat, so technically he's not here. If he was here, he'd be defending himself, but no. Well, that's race number two down. Only one more to go. There it is, Night Owls. Autumn Ring is the finale for the 400 PP Clubman Cup. I'm surprised we've been playing this for four hours now. It hasn't felt like it. Gives you a headache. I mean, I can't really concentrate with it either. 
But I don't know. I think it's just being around potheads all my, all, not all my life, but like a lot of my adolescents, and then also just um, my neighbors. Like, it doesn't really bother me. Your GT music is blessed. Like, we were talking earlier before you showed up, because um, the other Chris told me about the jukebox in this game having a bunch of music that's not used. And we were just sitting there. We might just leave the pink suit for now. I'll probably change it later. But anyways, um, yeah, we were just going through the menu music in general, dude, and just we, we were just literally like going all crazy about all the songs in general, especially the menu music. Like, Five's menu music is in six. GTS's menu music? I mean, it's all what? It's all licensed stuff? I thought it was great, but music is subjective at the end of the day. It's not for everybody. Oh, chat. Um, the another GT Sports song that I like is uh, "No Communication, No Love." That's a great mini song. Must be the weed. Oh fuck! Those are the memories you have. You can barely recall them. GT Five Prologue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about GT5 Pro like before. I just don't remember much of the soundtrack, but I remember one song. It goes like bada beep bop, bada beep bop, or something like that, and it's it's really damn catchy. Anyways, two point two seconds. Survive. Yep, that's a good song. Pink Martini Sympathy. Hmm. Okay, fuck it. When I'm studying today, I'm listening to all of the GT5 Prologue menu music. That's a must. Yeah, Geneve Pastravaled. Okay, that song I cannot stand. I can't stand that song. It's just, yeah, it just does, it doesn't fit like a Gran Turismo game in my opinion, honestly. It just seems a lot of place, like maybe it'd be cool to listen to. I don't have anything against the French. Um, it'd be cool to listen to like maybe in the slideshows, but not in the menu. Well, you have apparently, <laughs> oh boy. Also, my line's terrible through that, through that section. The Latino song? Which one's that one? How does it go? Mi Sombra? I don't remember. The only Spanish song that I know in, in a racing game in the menu is um, Sonido Total from Forza 2. Sonido en espacio. That's a good song. Well, the 400 PP Clubman Cup has been conquered. Yeah, send, yeah, send me that link as well, please. I would like to see it or listen to it. So, one makes are now available. The level of playing field on these races are contested. Makes every one a nail-biting fight to the finish. I guess we can take a preview and see what we're going to do. Because when we stream this next, which will probably be sometime this week, we're going to kick things off with the one makes and just get them out the way.